does it tune to? 32 hertz, 2 SA, 12 D2s, 2 oh, 32 hertz. Oh, those are SAs. Yeah, okay. SAs. Making what about your power amplifier power? Amplifier power, I use an um, 2500 watts on my mids and highs, uh, okay. Rockville. Um, 2K audio fight, 21, um, 2K1D on, okay. on each sub. Nice. And I'm using two um, AMG Marine um, okay. batteries. So. Sweet. Sweet. That's really good. Yeah. 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 Don't drop no needles or nothing. Good enough for big three all day. Okay. <laughs> yep. Alright. You got any loads? How low does it play? Yeah, I can play it to about 30 hertz. Right. You got anything around there? Yeah. I like your bass and high too, man. You can hear it over the music, over the bass too. That's good. What is it doing the meter? Um, I have a meter since I just upgraded um, okay. two days ago.
What's going on guys, I'm Jake Navarro, do daily cardio videos, hope you all enjoyed this build today, could be budget, could be not, depending on how you look at it, thought it was pretty decent budget for a no wall, with some sundown subs on audio pipe and Rockville amps, a lot of mids and highs, really clean music as well, let the owner know in the comments what you think if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed it as well, so thank you for uh, subscribing if you haven't, and everybody that subscribed, thanks for always watching my daily videos, I'm going to go ahead and start off today with the daily shout out. Today's going to go to Ryan Cloud. He said, hey man, I'm switching my uh, system up from American Bass to SoundCube HDX's 18. So far he's only got, he has them in a five-seater Suburban on 2,000 watts of Hyphonic to Brutus. And he said it's already louder than American Bass. That's good to hear, man. Awesome upgrade. And he said, I love bass. Some of us don't just love it more than life and drugs as well. Love your videos, Jacob. Keep up the hard work. There's your shout out, man. Appreciate you watching. Uh, any questions you'll ever have, feel free to ask. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up and ask real quick was I was wondering about speaker location. With uh, Particularly in this system, he had them on top of his box. There's nothing wrong with that. Also in the back seat, some people do little boxes with tweeters and mid-bass. But where is the most optimal place to place your tweeters and your speakers outside of your normal stock locations, whether it's on the A pillar, your B and C pillar, or in the door speakers. A lot of people just replace those. But I'm asking more on the sound quality audio gurus. A lot of guys are putting them like 15 different pods on the speaker pods on the doors or on the A pillars and B pillars. But what is the most optimal place to put them outside of just on the doors or on the pods? Like if you were to go on a sound quality level, I mean, do you want them angled the way they are in the box? Do you want them at the back of your D or C pillar on the side panels? Do you want them on the back of the hatch if you're on a no wall in a trunk? Do you want the tweeters and speakers facing like a normal? But on a sound, cue, sound quality level, like how do you know the best location to put your tweeters and speakers, mid bass, etc., outside of the stock locations? Because a lot of these builds these guys are doing, such as this one, they're putting the speakers and tweeters in a location outside of the stock location but how do you know what would be the most optimal like i mean i know the direction matters as well but some people i've even heard or read comments in the past that said you should never face your tweeters directly at you or you shouldn't have them facing the floor or certain types of speakers whether they're tweeters super tweeters or mid bass shouldn't be at a certain location or they shouldn't be connected together like say mid bass and tweeters should be separated in different locations like, how do you know the staging locations this is something i'm asking for the guys that may know this i don't know i'll be reading the comments so let me know what you guys think on that i'm not sure i'm still learning appreciate you guys watching thanks for always watching uh, stay tuned for a video tomorrow see y'all man